Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And today in a sneak preview, I do present you the Omega Seamaster Aqua Terra watches in a 34 millimeter case. But there is also a video online where I do present you these watches in a 38 millimeter case that you can discover in another video, just in case you're watching this video and you have not seen the other one. So please go and discover that video. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. In the new collection, it's all about colors and the colors do a transition from aqua to terra, from water to land and uh, the dials available in the 34 millimeter edition of the Seamaster Aquaterra are sea blue, lagoon green, sandstone, shell pink and lavender. The new dials are fashioned from brass, are sunbrushed from the center with rhodium plated hands and indexes on the 38 millimeter models and 18 karat white gold hands and indexes on the 34 millimeter edition. So these 34 millimeter watches to really distinguish themselves from the 38 millimeter watches. The 34 millimeters do have hands and indexes in 18 karat white gold. So if you're wondering now if the date window is also made out of white gold, yes it is. And the watch you see on your screen now features 18 karat gold, white gold hands and indexes. So this is about the dial. Now let me give you some information about the case. 34 millimeter is the diameter, 11.88 millimeters is the thickness and the so-called log to log distance is 40.49 millimeter. The case is waterproof up to 150 meter. All these new Aqua Seamaster Aqua Terra watches uh, are cased in a fully polished stainless steel case and fixed to the wrist by a bracelet that now has been beautifully redesigned with some very nice looking rounded links. The watch features a screw in case back and yeah, gives you the possibility to see the Omega Calibre 8800. It is a master chronometer certified officially by METAS, uh, the Swiss Institute of Metrology. This means master chronometer certification means that the watch withstands magnetic fields up to 15,000 Gauss, so it is absolutely safe to handle the watch around even strong magnetic fields. And as you all know, they are almost everywhere these days. It is a three and a half hertz movement, 25,200 semi oscillations, and the power reserve is 55 hours. What you see on the dial is, of course, the minutes, the hours, the central second hand, and the date, and also Super Luminova. And you have these new wonderful looking um, pastel colored PBD treated dials with a smooth transition from sea to land, aqua to terra. And here once again the names of these dials, sea blue, lagoon green, sandstone, shell pink and lavender. And the bracelet is uh, redesigned, I said it before, has more rounded links now and yeah. If uh, you are asking yourself, how is it tapering? It tapers from 16 millimeters to 14 millimeters in the butterfly clasp. The watches come with a five year warranty and it is, as I said it before, a master chronometer certified caliber, of course, as all the Omega watches are. These new 34 millimeter Seamaster Aquaterra are sold for 6,300 euro, including 20% VAT. Thanks for watching this sneak preview about the new Seamaster Aquaterra watches of Omega, the 2022 watches. I will get hands on these watches later this year and make a, of course, a more in deep review. Of course, this was just a sneak preview, as I said in the beginning. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the short video. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Ask your questions. I will answer, of course, as always. 
And do look out for all the other videos we have been publishing today about the Omega Novelties 2022. Bye bye for now. And yeah, let's get back very soon together here on Watch Advice and YouTube. Bye bye.